much clear in badminton where you hold the shot to the last moment and instead of giving the shuttle lots of air play it as an attacking shot so you play it there's another one that time wide of the over. mark but you're really 16, using it as an attacking 10. shot and, and we refer to that as the punch clear it's not me getting aggressive it's all right no it's one of tina's stock shots really she plays that very very well she uses the rear court very well Simple put away. Service over, 11 16. Oh. 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 Nicely done. Again, good, good use of the diagonal, 12, longest 16. distance of the court, good straight clear to the rear court and then putting the slow cross drop in. Starting to think a lot better now, a lot more clearly. Tina's a very confident player, very experienced and I'm sure, she, I, I'm sure she's not, uh, not feeling this set has gone yet. She'll be working hard to get herself back in this one. Oh. There it is again. Really is Service wonderful. Over. Applauded 17, by her coach. 12. Zhang Ning. Zhang Ning, of course, current Olympic champion, twice Olympic champion, 2004 in Athens, retained the title in Beijing. Oh, oh just long. Service over, 13-17. Oh, crikey. It wasn't wrong by much, was it? Oh, that is brilliant. Again, early take, early take in the forecourt. 14, looking to push the shuttle 17. quickly in behind her opponent there. Very effective. Yeah, it becomes even more effective because, of course, she's played so many very tight spinning net shots in the earlier stages, and therefore her opponent, Lu Lan, coming forward or afraid of the net shot and then vulnerable to the flick over her head. Control at the front of the court, so, so over, vital 18, in singles. We've 14. known that for a number of years in men's singles, but it's becoming more and more obvious in women's singles as well. Yeah, Lu Lan's one of the Chinese players who's very sees the shuttle very early, likes to get in very, very early on the net, and that was a really good example. Tina just taking a little bit too much pace off from the rear court and allowing Lu Lan to get very tight on the net there. Almost as if she'd done the hard work. She'd 19, done the tight spinning net shot. She got, got the short lift, Tina Rasmussen, but couldn't put it away. No, getting caught a little bit in between two tactics at the moment. She's taken, she's taken the pace off her attack a little bit, but when the opportunities are coming now, she needs to mix that pace a little bit and put the odd full smash in, just to keep Lulan on the back foot a little bit. That, that's interesting to me so because that's over, the one she made the error on. 15, and, and now 19. has tried it again and played it to perfection. I think that's the mental strength of Tina. She's backing herself to make the shot. She's not going to change her tactics just because she misses one shot. If she feels that's the right tactic, she'll stick with it and back herself to technically, technically perform that shot. Just wide. And a little shake Service of over. the head. 20, game point, 15. Error from Tina Rasmussen means that Lu Lan, the number six seed, has five game points. Oh. Oh. Fault. 
service over. Almost 16, perhaps had too many options 20. there. Yes. Made a changed her Good mind. Luck. Yeah, but again, you see that she's getting to the forecourt very, very quickly. Had a lot of options. That, yeah, as you say, maybe too many, but very, very early on the forecourt. And that's a, that's a dangerous sign for Tina. Well, we don't often see the Chinese players showing any emotion or a little bit of frustration. Uh, this time, second time of asking, closes out the opening game. The number six seed, Lu Lan from First game China. won by Lu Lan, 21-16. Well, it was that run of 11 of 12 points in the early stages and their confirmation of the score. Looking very, very impressive in those early stages, I have to say. Winning shots, six to the forehand. Both pressurising the forehand, actually. Of the eight winning shots from the day, six of them came to the forehand. We always assume that the weakness was in the backhand side, but that's always the case. Ellers så skal vi have noget stik dernede fra. Det er bedre end det korte drop lige nu. Er du med? Ja. Okay. Oh. Vi optimerer bare lige. Now, I think Kenny Jonasson there was telling her, got, got to go for her angled shot. Okay. The Danes call it a stick no. shot. Det er en angled shot down. 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 Det er very interesting, I think, during that time out and the coaching from Kenneth Jonasson. Court two, 20 Urging seconds. Court two, 20 Rasmussen seconds. To look for angles more rather than relying on her power. As far as Lu Lan is concerned, I should think Jiang Ning must be fairly happy with her. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good performance. She didn't start well, lost the first two rallies and then raced to that 11-3 lead. Second game. Yeah, I think Kenneth will be wanting Tina to use more angles just to keep Lulan a little bit further off the net because Lulan was causing a lot of problems when she was getting early into the front court there. And as you say, I think Zhang Ning will be pretty comfortable at the moment with Lulan's performance. I'm not sure if you call that one of the Danish stick shots, but probably more of a drop shot than one of the sort of half-smashed angled shots. It's amazing because she took that shoulder height I know you, as, as a coach, Ian, will be urging every player to take the shuttle as high as possible. You can create more angles and so on. But this is the, the sort of thing that really shows to me the strength of the Dane, that even when she's let the shuttle Two drop, she nine. still has options. Most players don't have that. She's a very, very good timer of the shuttle and very, very strong. You don't get a lot of time to see where she's going to hit. There's not a big, no big preparation. And she's a very, very quick racket head when she strikes from the rear court. Just long. Three, love. Now, Ian, there is a bit of a drift in... Oof, my goodness, that was good judgment, wasn't it? Good call by the line judge. Bit of a drift in the National Indoor Arena. Now, that's going to be the case for every large... Arena natural air currents will make the shuttle move a little bit quicker from one end to the other, or maybe side to side. Just explain oh, to us where no. the drift is going here at the National Indoor Arena. Yeah, well, it does vary a little bit day to day, but um, what the players were telling me today is that it's a little bit quicker from Tina's end. The, the end that Tina's at at the moment, it's a little bit quicker when you're playing to the rear court. And there is a slight side drift going left to right. Shuttle, of course, so, so light over, that one, uh, four. any sort of air currents does affect the shuttle. It wouldn't affect a, a tennis ball, for instance, but certainly with a shuttle. That didn't miss by much either, did it? Ah. Oh, that's fast coming forward from the Dane. No wonder so the Danish over. coaching staff Five, nodding approval. One. 